I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about turmeric as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Turmeric, or curcumia longa, is one of the most powerful natural remedies in Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine. This ancient herbal remedy has been used for at least 6,000 years. Now, the major constituent of turmeric is curcumin, which constitutes up to about 90% of total curcuminoid content, with a couple of other smaller curcuminoids comprising the remainder. Turmeric is used extensively in several countries as part of their um, system of national medicine. Turmeric is listed in the official Ayurvedic Pharmacopoeia of India, in the Pharmacopoeia of the People's Republic of China, in the Japanese Herbal Medicine Codex. In Germany, turmeric is listed in the Drug Codex, approved in the Commission E monographs, and in the form of tea in the official German Standard License monographs. Curcumin and turmeric have been extensively researched for their anti-tumor, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and analgesic or pain relieving properties. In fact, a uh, do a search on the US PubMed database for research on turmeric and it returns 5,334 clinical trials on animals and humans. And yet, the National Center of Complementary and Integrative Health, which is part of the same US National Institutes of Health, has this to say about turmeric. There is little reliable evidence to support the use of turmeric for any health condition because few clinical trials have been conducted. Duh! That statement by an official medical resource in the USA tells you something about the American healthcare system and its view of alternative medicines and why sites like Nootropics Expert and this YouTube channel is so important for our nootropics community so we can make our own decisions on how to boost our own cognitive health. Turmeric, also known as Indian saffron, has been used for thousands of years in traditional South Asian cuisine and is the basic ingredient in curry. One recent study with over a thousand elderly Asian subjects found that those who ate curry often or very often had significantly higher cognitive performance. Turmeric has potent antidepressant qualities and has been found to be more potent than the antidepressant Prozac. Researchers think that turmeric works by reducing the stress hormone cortisol while increasing levels of the neurotransmitter serotonin. Turmeric's main active component, curcumin, provides protection against Alzheimer's, major depression, epilepsy, and other neurodegenerative disorders. Scientists believe that much of the protective action comes from curcumin's anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Curcumin modulates neurotransmitter levels in your brain and on a molecular level is a potent inhibitor of reactive astrocyte expression which prevents apoptosis or cell death in your brain. Well first, turmeric enhances neuroplasticity. Brain-derived nootropic factor, or BDNF, is the growth hormone responsible for creation of new neurons or neurogenesis in your brain. Higher levels of BDNF can increase mood, intelligent, memory, and productivity, and can reduce risks for neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Using turmeric or its active compound curcumin can boost your intelligence and memory and can elevate your mood, especially if you're prone to depression. Several studies have shown that turmeric or its active component curcumin significantly boosts BDNF. Researchers found that curcumin activated extracellular signal regulated kinases, or ERKs, and P38 kinases. The uh, cellular signal transduction pathways known to be involved in the regulation of neuroplasticity and stress responses. Administration of curcumin in mice in this study revealed that, that it increased the number of newly generated cells in the hippocampus. 
showing that curcumin enhances hippocampus neurogenesis and that curcumin activity in the brain enhances neuroplasticity and the repair of brain cells. Another study using the turmeric volatile oil, AR tumorone, showed that this compound also supported regeneration of brain cells. Scientists discovered that when neurostem cells were bathed with AR tumorone, up to 80% more stem cells grew into neurons or other cells. Scientists then injected the turmeric extract into a part of the rat's brains where these cells are located and witnessed a similar increase in the growth of stem cells into neurons. And the second way, turmeric boosts dopamine and serotonin levels in the brain. These are the feel-good neurotransmitters in your brain. Turmeric and its active compound curcumin have been studied and used effectively as antidepressants for centuries. Researchers in India set out to establish how curcumin worked in the brain to provide this antidepressant action. And in this study, they investigated how curcumin and its ability to boost mood as well as the effect of piperine as a bioavailability enhancer. So in other words, they added piperine to curcumin. Scientists found that curcumin increased serotonin and dopamine levels in the brain and inhibited monoamine oxidase enzymes, both MAOA and MAOB, just like popular prescription antidepressant MAOIs. Curcumin even enhanced the effectiveness of popular SSRI antidepressants, uh, Prozac, Fcor, and Zyban. The team found no increase in norepinephrine when using curcumin to boost neurotransmitters, avoiding the irritability and other symptoms of overamped fight or flight response. And the scientists found that stacking curcumin with piperine significantly boosted bioavailability. They concluded that curcumin combined with piperine was a potent natural antidepressant approach to managing depression. A member of the ginger family of herbs, turmeric is a seasoning that gives curry powder its yellow color. And it's been long known for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties and is actively studied today for applications as a nootropic. Turmeric or any one of its several active compounds, including curcumin and AR tumorone, undoes damage to your brain caused by depression or chronic stress. Turmeric and curcumin boost neuron regrowth or neurogenesis. It increases dendrites. It repairs DNA. It reduces inflammation. It counters free radical damage and it boosts neurotransmitters. Turmeric inhibits monoamine oxidase enzymes, both MAOA and MAOB, just like popular prescription antidepressant SSRIs and MAOIs. Research shows that curcumin or turmeric can boost the effects of some popular antidepressants. Boosting the feel-good neurotransmitters serotonin and dopamine can alleviate depression, it can improve mood, it can boost alertness, cognition, decision-making, memory, and even libido. Curcumin, the most active component of turmeric, activates genes that produce a huge array of antioxidants that serve to protect your mitochondria. Curcumin also improves glucose metabolism, which is great for maintaining a healthy balance of gut bacteria. The critical microbiome in your gut directly influences how well your brain functions. Curcumin is the main active component of turmeric. So most of the positive reviews and studies have been conducted using curcumin. Curcumin is known to possess antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, anti-hypertensive, anti-hyperlipidemic, anti-tumor, anti-cancer, anti-phlogistic, anti-diabetic, anti-psoriasis, anti-thrombotic, and uh, anti-hepatoxic. Toxic. That's a lot of antis and a host of other useful properties. If you are in perfect physical and mental health, you may not feel the effects of supplement with, supplementing with turmeric or curcumin. Turmeric's neuroprotective qualities may not be felt if your brain is in perfect working order. But 
the effects of long-term supplementation will help you ward off diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. The most frequent comments come from supplementing with turmeric comes from those dealing with chronic pain. Turmeric relieves the pain of osteoarthritis and fibromyalgia. Chronic pain usually results in insomnia or poor sleep quality, loss of memory, depression, and other stress-related symptoms. Adding curcumin or turmeric to your nootropic stack can help relieve chronic pain. You'll sleep better and you'll feel more alert the next day. Supplementing with turmeric or curcumin improves attention, working memory, and mood, and is reported to relieve the symptoms of migraine headaches. Now I've got much more clinical research point, uh, that I'm pointing to over on Nootropics Expert. Just go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for turmeric or click on the link below this video. There I've got a study that was done, I believe it was done in India, on curry and how eating curry helps people avoid Alzheimer's disease. I've got another study on turmeric as an antidepressant. That study was conducted in India as well. And I've got another study that was done, I believe, in China, where curcumin reduces stress. You cannot get the immediate therapeutic and nootropic benefits of turmeric by simply eating more curry or adding turmeric to your food. Turmeric root contains only about 3% curcumin. The most convenient way to start experiencing the benefits of turmeric is going with a high quality 100% organic turmeric extract that contains at least 95% curcuminoids. But curcumin and turmeric on their own are poorly absorbed by your gut, so you must boost the bioavailability and absorption of this potent nootropic. And the most efficient way to boost the bioavailability is to combine turmeric or curcumin with piperine. One study showed combining curcumin with uh, 20 milligrams of piperine increased the bioavailability by 2,000%. Turmeric is fat soluble, so you must take it with a high quality fat for maximum absorption. Use unrefined coconut oil or um, olive oil or MCT oil. Standardized turmeric or curcumin extract at 95% curcuminoids, 750 milligrams three times per day. Turmeric liquid extract, one to one, 30 to 90 drops per day. Tincture, one to two, 15 to 30 drops four times a day. And dried turmeric root powder, two and a half to four grams per day. Turmeric is natural and considered non-toxic and safe when taken at recommended doses. Taking large amounts of turmeric for extended periods can cause stomach upset and possibly ulcers. If you have gallstones or an obstruction to your bile passages, you should not supplement with turmeric. Turmeric may lower blood sugar levels, which could be a problem for diabetics and pregnant and breastfeeding women should not supplement with turmeric. And because turmeric can act as a blood thinner, stop supplementing with turmeric two weeks before surgery. Turmeric can also strengthen the effects of blood thinning medications. Turmeric is available as powder, tablets, capsules, tincture, and tea, and is preferred over curcumin if you're using it for inflammatory conditions like arthritis, tendinitis, or autoimmune conditions. Curcumin is a natural chemical found in and extracted from turmeric. Several companies have developed their own version of this powerful nootropic. Sabinza's Curcumin C3 complex boasts the most clinical studies of any of the patented forms of curcumin. This curcumin product is standardized to 95% curcuminoids, and Sabinza also produces the standardized piperine extract called bioperine. And supplement makers who feature curcumin C3 complex from Sabinza 
also typically include biopurine in their formula. And then we have BCM95, which is by Dolcas Biotech, which is a standard extract of turmeric containing uh, curcumin essential oil complexes of 86% curcuminoids and 79% essential oils. Now, as far as I can tell, this is the only extract that includes turcumin, uh, turmeric volatile oils which is important to cognitive healing. Now recall from earlier in this video that uh, turmeric volatile oil AR tumorone supported the regeneration of brain cells. And then there we've got Longvita, which is a standardized uh, curcumin extract that the company claims is at least 65 to 285 times more bioavailable than standard 95% curcumin but does not contain any of the volatile oils found in natural turmeric. Now one study showed that this extract increases synapses, but it was done in mice. Another study in humans showed that Longvita significantly improved attention, working memory, and mood compared to placebo. And then we have another one called uh, Mariva, M-E-R-I-V-A, Mariva, which is another patented form of curcumin combined with lecithin. The two compounds are in a 1 to 2 ratio with uh, microcrystalline cellulose added. The company claims that the action of soy lecithin improves the bioavailability of curcumin. So cur total curcumin in each capsule is 20% and much higher doses of this curcumin extract are needed for optimizing cognition. And this, this particular supplement is primarily targeted at bone and eye and skin health. Now the active ingredients in turmeric include curcuminoids and volatile oils. So look for the percentage of active ingredients listed on the bottle or package. Your best option is choosing a standardized extract of at least 95% curcuminoids. Unless the supplement contains a patented compound from a company that I've talked spoke about um, a little bit earlier, you can assume that the extract has been processed using toxic solvents to extract the curcumin from turmeric. Avoid supplements that list other ingredients on the label. Look for certified organic to ensure that the root used to make your turmeric supplement is free of heavy metals, pesticides, or herbicides. So my nootropics expert recommendation for turmeric extract at 95% curcuminoids is 70, 750 milligrams three times a day. So that's my report on turmeric. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for turmeric. Or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on nootropics expert. And if you have any questions or you want to share your experience using turmeric, please use the comments section at the bottom of the post or the review on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.